Hello everyone, for those of you who didn't know, this is my Christian channel, so I'm going to address this issue from a Christian perspective. What to do when you're bored? Alright, so there's a lot of factors here. First of all, it depends whether you're single and independent, whether you're single and with your parents, or whether you're married and have children, so responsibilities defer from one to the other. Also, what matters is your temperament, your, uh, what kind of person you are as a personality. I'll put a video right here if you want to check it out. Uh, so if you are living with your parents, the best thing to do is to start planning for your future because we all as human beings, we need to work in order to live. So start creating some kind of business. My sister at age, I think 12, went raking leaves during the fall because, you know, there's a lot of leaves falling from trees and she would go house to house and rake the leaves and they would pay her and she wouldn't name a price. She would just say, however much you guys want to pay me. They would pay five to twenty dollars you know depending which is pretty cool way to earn money and start getting ready for independent life that's number one second thing uh, that's the number one thing I'll suggest to you whoa camera got stuck second thing I'll suggest to you if you are single and independent you should be already working I would suggest that you would find ways to improve your work maybe start your own business because that's usually the best way to go because all throughout the Bible that's what I see people doing having their own business and if they are working for someone else which is rare they're doing that with their whole heart especially if they're doing it for the government with their whole heart and with their work testifying to people what it means to be a Christian alright now if you are neither of those so if you're married your purpose in life should be towards moving closer to the Lord, especially with your wife and encouraging your wife to move closer to the Lord. So if I were you, I would study scriptures, and this goes for all ages, whether single and with parents, single without parents, or married, study the scriptures, pray more, deepen your relationship with God because that's where all the wisdom lies, and ask Him to guide you. Basically, don't waste your time on Facebook, on pornography or whatever else you do. Speaking of pornography and lust, there's a, another video I did, how to get rid of it in your life. And use that time beneficially. I am currently hiking. Physical exercise is of little value, and godliness is profitable for all things in this life and the life that is to come, but we as human beings, we need constant physical exercise. Why? Because God cursed the earth and said, in the sweat of your face, you will eat your bread. And that's a law. If we don't follow that law, we get all sorts of consequences, such as sicknesses, heart disease, etc., etc., etc. I'm hiking at high elevation, as you can see, so I'm out of breath. But those are the things I suggest to you. Study scriptures, deepen your relationship with Jesus Christ, find something to do as work, uh, that may be beneficial. Grow closer to the Lord so you can lead others closer to the Lord. Alright, here we go, better lighting. So I'm up in the mountains, that's why I'm out of breath. So three more things I wanted to tell you. If you're a person of emotion, you like to socialize a lot, here's what I recommend you do. Find a group or a social group or, or anywhere, maybe a club in your school or somewhere else where you can join, maybe your church, and encourage people to follow after the Lord Jesus Christ or encourage them in faith, encourage them in their ministries because that could be your calling in itself. If you are a person who is of willpower, so someone who gets things done, who perseveres until the end, what I recommend you do is join again a ministry or somewhere where you can be of a lot of benefit encouraging people and helping them helping people structure things uh, you know organizing events and stuff like that so it can be for the glory of God but again don't overwork yourself do it with humbleness with reverence and with joy if you're not joyful about it quit that whole thing because you're wasting everybody's time and God does not need anyone who works without putting their heart into into the work and the last thing I'd like to suggest to you if you're a thinker if you're a person who likes to sit quietly and think a lot introvert um, what I recommend is you sit down and think of ways that you can improve the ministry improve the church help people strengthen uh, help people strengthen themselves spiritually and there's a way to do that and I'll put a video up top right here where I explain 
how the church can be revived and how the people within the church can grow closer to Jesus all together. God bless you guys. So seek Him in all your ways and He will guide your paths and set them straight. Paul with you. Bye-bye.